the slogans rang in my ear, chanting, 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 in a collective of deep male voices. Preserve our culture, save our religion, protect this country. I had no choice but to walk right past that crowd towards the white vessel that waited for me on the other side of the building. I had promised him two hours. He had promised me two thousand. And as I walk past, I see a familiar face crying out the slogans in that deep manly voice that enchants me during those passionate nights, crying, groaning, moaning, just like the nights when you came to me, seeking warmth, because the fires at home were not warm enough. Preserve our culture. You held up a placard, thrusting it up and down, thrusting, 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 just like you keep thrusting into me on those enticing nights while I lie motionless, biting my lips to stop myself from screaming, save our religion. You took a moment to wipe your face, a gesture so familiar, sweltering, beads of sweat gathered at your temple, panting, 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 just like when you lie next to me, spent on those lusty nights while I prepare myself for the next round. Protect this country. Your placard fell right at my feet. Cherish our women. It read. It read.